Oh. He, he pleaded guilty to 11 offences yeah. of making offensive postings against yeah. two women, you, and yeah. one was his, his half, stepsister. His yeah. stepsister. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, he was given a six-month suspended jail sentence, mm -hmm. suspended for two years, <laughs> yeah. um, and he um, has to go to sex offenders' treatment programme, but he's not on the sexual offenders' no. register. Yeah, which is what we're actually really angry about, yeah. because, unfortunately, we did go to the police a, a year earlier, and... All of us went as a group and we said, you know, this is what's happening, this is who's doing it. And, you know, some of the photos of one of the girls was explicit and it was involving nudity because she had a different, obviously, you know, relationship to them than we did. So that was on there. So we thought if we were grouped with that, we would be part of a revenge porn law. Yeah. And, you know, because there was pictures of Jenna Taylor and stuff, we would be on that. But because they dismissed our cases and they did their one separate, then their cases were just issued off with a caution which is actually mm. we're really worrying because 70% yeah. of cases are well, I know your, just um, issue with a caution. Your local MP, Caroline Ansell, MP for Eastbourne, as she said, it's appalling these pictures are remaining online. My view is the law needs to be changed yeah. Yeah. to yeah. force perpetrators like Oliver Whiting to take down revenge porn because it was posted in Central America. That makes yeah. it more confusing. I'm so sorry we've run out of time, but thank you very much for thank telling you. us your story. Thank and you. it is a stark yeah. warning, actually, isn't it? When yeah. you are posting pictures, you do not know what people can, can do with them. Yeah. And we're so sorry it happened to you.